Okay, starting my live video. Okay, I'm going to talk whether it's one person in here, zero or 600. So look, I've never in my life seen so many people that want somebody to hate their child so bad. Y'all really want this man to hate his child as much as y'all do. So we all know what's, we all know what's going on. But what I want to talk about is the people who are completely 100% unaffected by this have the most to say. You get people in the comment section talking about um, that's too early of an age to transition. Uh, why does he why does he allow that in his house and a child should stay in the child's place? We're going to talk about all that because I'm going to tell y'all how problematic and divisive that is. So. Let's start with staying in the child's place. You know the only time somebody say stay in the child's place is when you want that child to shut up. We just going to use we going to use that for a minute. Stay in the child's place. The only time I've ever heard somebody say stay in the child's place is when they want that child to shut up. When you want that child to be quiet. So we're going to use that for a quick second. A lot of y'all wonder why when somebody gets older, they come back and tell you about, hey, uncle, this person touched me. My, my stepmama did this to me when I was little. When I was eight years old, this person touched me. And you wonder why they wait until they're older to tell them. But in their, in their eyes, they stayed in the child's place because that's what you told them to do. See, it's a double edged sword because it hurts both of y'all. It hurts both of y'all because the child doesn't say anything and then they have to endure the suffering. And then you don't know anything until you get, until they get older. And then all of a sudden you feel like you're blindsided about something, but they should have been able to tell you that because a lot of y'all do not have open lines of communication with y'all children. And you can pretend like you do, or you can say, oh, my child can talk to me about anything. Can they? Can they really? You can say that all day long, but do you display the actions that show your child, hey, you can talk to me about anything. I won't judge you. I won't dismiss you. And a lot of y'all feel like staying in a child's place falls in line with that. You can't you can't talk to me. I'm an adult. I'm an, I'm above your level. You're not on my level. You can't talk to me. A lot of people carry that mentality with them into adulthood and then pass it on to their children while they are adults in their children, not parents in their children, adults in their children. And then the other thing where people say, oh, 12, year, 12 years old is too old to be transitioning. No, it's not. I knew who I was at three, four years old and I've been that person ever since. And it's worked out for me. So a lot of people like that's too old to be transitioning. Worry about your own kids. Some of y'all kids can't, can't even transition grades. Can't transition from the third grade to the fourth grade. But y'all worrying about transition gender. Something so simple as, as moving through grades and they can't even do that. But you worry about somebody else's child. Like that, that blows me. And then people have the audacity to try to take it to his, to his actual social media page and post this under his under his comment section. And at this, I'm like, where do you niggas get off? Y'all are so bold. And a lot of people don't even have kids. So when, when you don't have kids, I have to ask you, where does your, where does your parenting skills come into play? What parenting skills are you calling upon? Cause it can be the ones that you're, that you were parented by, because as we can see that failed, and y'all want this man to hate his child so bad. Y'all just in the comment section like, hate your child. How come you don't hate your child as much as we hate our children? Y'all would not know a supportive father if, if he raised y'all. And I meant that. Could have raised y'all y'all entire life and y'all just would be oblivious to the whole thing. But another thing that I want to talk about. A lot of y'all trying to use like, oh, this is why this is why we have hell on earth. Let me tell y'all something so we can nip this in the bud real quick. Everybody is not Christian. You cannot govern the world on Christian philosophy because everybody is not Christian. 
Everybody not scared of ooga booga hell. You can't scare everybody with that. It don't work. So, a lot of y'all want to use that while being judgmental. I don't. I don't understand that. Y'all want to use. Y'all want to use God as some way of trying to scare people. Not even necessarily God. Y'all want to use the Bible as scaring somebody. Where in that very Bible, it tells you not to be judgmental. But instead, that is exactly what you're doing. Cherry picking Christians. I don't know. But a lot. That's that's basically what it is. A lot of y'all are completely misguided. Y'all were not raised. Y'all still don't parent y'all children in the right way, but then want to get on social media and tell other people how to do it. What book is it that you're reading from? Or what book is it on parenting that you're passing out because you're not reading it? But all I can say is just have a have an open converse, open line of communication with your child because a lot of people don't. And then they won't grow up with all these issues in their lives and they play out these issues as adults when a lot of or a lot of people need therapy i'm gonna tell you right now i'm gonna, I'm gonna have kids anyway i'm gonna have kids so go ahead be mad gay man parents and kids i don't i don't care be mad it's gonna happen be mad so that's really all i want to say y'all y'all are just tiring y'all blow me you really do I think there's everything that I want to touch on. Um, open line of communication. Too early to transition. Y'all wanting him to hate his child. That's another thing. Y'all really need to go back and have a, a real talk with y'all parents. Why do y'all want this man to hate their child? Hate his child so bad. And have the unmitigated gall to go on this man page and talk down to him about his parenting style. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all. I'm 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 pretty much done with this.